Welcome to another edition of This Week in UNH Women's Hockey. Hi, I'm Phil Kincaid for the Friends of UNH Women's Hockey. And of course, this to me is head coach Brian McCloskey. Wildcats are in the midst of one of their busiest times of the season with five games in 11 days. Started out with a 3-0 loss to Maine, but the team has bounced back with a pair of victories. 3-1 over Princeton, and then a come from behind 3-2 overtime victory against Union. Coach, it must be feeling pretty good to get a couple of wins under your belt, uh, get a little momentum going into this big weekend. Yeah, no question, Phil. We, uh, you know, it's been a challenging first half, and uh, we've learned a lot um, through the first two months. And, uh, you know, it was nice to be home. It was nice to, uh, well, as you know, rally from behind and, uh, you know, I, I think uh, I think we've made a lot of improvements, and I'm sure other uh, teams feel the same way. Um, <clears throat> and we'll have our hands full this weekend. North, Northeastern's a very strong team. But, you know, I mean, we're doing a lot of little things that sometimes don't show up in the scoreboard. Uh, we're making some improvements. Um, and, and I guess of note, I would say, you know, <clears throat> we haven't been decimated, but we've had a couple of, injuries uh or and or illnesses and which everybody gets but when you know we're given our our roster size which is which is extremely small you know we've had to rely on uh, a core group of kids and uh you know fortunately this past uh week uh princeton on sunday and uh or saturday and uh union you know we were able to, to get goals at time at times when we needed them we got good goaltending um you know, we've been playing pretty well special teams, and those were big for us on the weekend. So, I mean, overall, <clears throat> you know, I've been doing a lot of, uh, believe it or not, that was the 17th game. So uh, we are at the official midpoint, which is hard to believe, and it just turned December. So uh, it was a good time just to reflect uh, about where we're at and, and what we need to do going forward. Yeah, you mentioned special teams. You take a look at the last six goals. Four of those were essentially on the power play. I know one of them came, I think, when one second had expired on the power play. Looked like you were moving the puck pretty well on the power play, getting lots of good looks, good yep. shots on net. Uh, talk a little bit about how that's progressed as the season's well, moved along. Well, I've been very pleased with it. I, I think uh, Christine Horn has uh, played a big, big role in uh, in that, uh, particularly on the power play, but she's played a big role. We moved her back when we were out at Minnesota, sort of reminiscent of when we moved Bouchard back years back uh, when we were playing Wisconsin. And... Uh, I think Christine's found a home. I mean, we could use her up front, because, but we're not deep enough in either spot. So she's been our quarterback, and she's done a phenomenal job. Christine's really come into her own this year. Um, but other players are, are really starting to mesh well on that, uh, particularly that top unit. Uh, Nicole Gifford had a hat trick uh, against Princeton, and she's been, uh, she's been a standout for sure uh, here in the first, uh, first half. So... Uh, and then, you know, we've played around with some different people. We've had Maggie Hunt, uh, a sophomore who has a very heavy shot uh, and scored the winner against Union, uh, uh, playing on one flank. We've moved a couple different people around. We've obviously had uh, Christine uh, Lavoie and Ariel O'Neill. So those five players, and, and then uh, Jen LaSalle, another freshman, has, has seen some significant time too. I mean, we've got a nice nucleus of, of kids that uh, have the puck skill and the vision and uh, and I think they're getting a good feel of where you know where each other is and how to attack. So that's going to be important because we're offensively challenged. I mean, we're not a deep uh, team in terms of scoring depth, and uh, taking advantage of power plays is going to be important. Well, you know, in any team, a team like yourself, you had a number of turnover. You've also had to deal with the fact that it's a young roster. You're looking for players to step up and take a leadership role. You know, especially on the ice. And it looked like Nicole Gifford did that. This yeah. weekend, I mean, six goals. She was involved in five of them. That's uh, really a real credit to her. Yeah, no, she Nicole. Uh, you know, I, I would never uh, want to disparage anybody, but this is really a big compliment. She's uh, maybe a half step slower, uh, but very similar to Kelly Patton. I mean, plays phenomenally on both ends of the ice, sees the ice, um, and I think Nicole has probably always taken a lot of pride in her defensive game and. Uh, what we've seen, uh, you know, as you know, in the last uh, few games and really over the course of the first half, is she's gained some offensive confidence and she's producing for us. And, uh, you know, she's a hard worker. Um, you know, she's gotten, I mean, I, I commented on my blog this week uh, just about the fact that, 
you know, it's not an accident that Kelly was an All-American. It's not an accident that Christine Horn's breaking out. And it's not an accident that uh, Nicole's breaking out for us. Uh, those are kids that really work hard, take advantage of practice. And uh, I think Nicole, we're, we're seeing the, you know, the upside of her game. And she's only halfway through her sophomore year. So she's going to be an integral part of our team going forward. Yeah, and if we look for other positive signs, the fact that in both wins you started out giving up the first goal, fell two goals behind to Union, and yet this team hung in there, fought yep. back, kept its character. Obviously, when you look at a team moving forward and positive points, a team that doesn't lose confidence, can play from behind and come back, it's certainly something that is a positive thing. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. And, uh, you know, I, I think uh, to add to, to our challenge this year is we haven't been consistent in the nets. We've talked about it amongst ourselves. and and with our, with our goaltending. Um, but in both those contests, we also, I thought, uh, stabilized and we got big saves when we needed them. You know, as they always say, it's not how many, it's, it's when sometimes. And I thought Jen did a very good job over the weekend, uh, the, two set, the two games we won, uh, of, you know, not letting that first goal, uh, I guess, deflate her. And she kept focused and, we had to have some saves, you know, over the course. I mean, you can't come back if you keep digging the hole deeper. And, uh, you know, I think those are encouraging signs for us because going forward, and we've discussed this, uh, we, we need to be better in a lot of areas, but the Nets definitely one of them. We need, to, we need more consistency because in our league, there's just a lot of really good goaltending and, and some excellent teams. And while we don't expect to shut teams out, you know, you can't be giving teams easy opportunities. And it's not so much that the goals are all – the goaltender's fault either and that that's a key thing to know but you know it's the integral uh working arrangement that you have between you know your goalie's got to save you sometimes and obviously sometimes you pull you pull a rabbit out of the hat for the goalie but uh, hopefully we can get that a little more in sync because i think if we can get get on you know get on uh, on the same wavelength and get get everybody playing the way we need we we can have a lot of success in the second half well, I would say probably this weekend coming up is the biggest weekend of the season so far. Yep. Home and home against Northeastern right now. They're number one in Hockey East. Yep. You haven't got any points in Hockey East yet. That's uh, something you really need to do now if you're going to yep. make a run at a playoff spot. And you're heading into the break. You want to hit it off in a positive way. So what are you looking forward to this weekend? Well, I think we start out obviously Saturday here and uh – you know, we've had two good experiences at home, big surface. They're a good skating team. Um, you know, we're going to have to play. Uh, we're just going to have to play smart, smart hockey. But I, I think with Northeastern, what we're dealing with is a team that's right there. You know, uh, if they're not in that elite, elite to, tier, they're certainly right in that top six, seven, eight team tier. And they got great goaltending. So we'll have to, you know, we'll have to play uh, a solid 60 minutes here Saturday if we want to get points. Great. Thank you very much, Coach. And I want to remind everybody, if you had a chance to read the Coach's blog, uh, you're missing something. You're doing a real nice job with that. Thanks, Phil. Some real great insights into hockey and about coaching. Uh, I recommend it highly. You go take a look at it. You can just go to the UNH Women's Hockey page, uh, unhwildcats.com. And we'll be back next week with another edition of This Week in UNH Women's Hockey.